whole thing is to actually make a com make a change in the community. That's the whole. They most common reason they all like to hustle. That's their thing. Different solutions out of some went to school, and then documentary shows that some dropped out. And at the end of the documentary shows, someone going back to school and making a positive decision with their lives. And the more we shoot them, the more we, we be with them and we bond with them, the more we get to know them. And some of them actually doesn't have parents that actually care for them. So in this documentary, we're actually trying to really show that if you stay on a positive note, you actually get what you want in life. And a lot of I'm, just, I'm just myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make a dollar. I'm just trying to make an honest dollar, you know what I'm saying? And I'm real talented, you know what I'm saying? So I've been having to go hard ever since, like, really, like, day one. And you know what I'm saying? It's real hard in the streets of Chicago out here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I really drum. I don't want to do nothing bad to get no, no other money. So I'm getting it legit. It's real hectic, man. It make me want to go do bad things, but I can't do nothing but this to go do to get good money. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be locked up, you know what I'm saying? Like all my friends. All my friends be running the cribs, selling, selling drugs, you know what I'm saying? All type of stuff. That ain't right, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't trying to go through that path because I done, I done seen all my friends die in the jail right now, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm drumming real hard every day so I could just focus up on the right thing and that's being positive. Support Bucket Documentary on Kickstarter. story never been told on the South Side of Chicago. You know, every story that they tell on the South Side of Chicago is either violence or this going bad, and we want to bring something positive to the community. And this story never been told, so we decided to basically bring this story out. We'll, we'll documentary out. And, you know, basically, this is our first feature uh, documentary. This is our first piece of work making that transition in from a music video to a film. So uh, we always wanted to go with something we're more familiar with. We always on the expressway. We see them every time we're on the expressway. We said, well, why not make this a story? I mean, we're more familiar with it than anything. I'm pretty sure y'all have been to Bulls games, uh, the Wrigley Field, you know, uh, the Sox games, and they outside all them. So we wanted to go with something that we was more familiar with instead of go out to something that would be hard and we know nothing less about. We didn't know less about. It, so. Any music you like that actually makes the picture feel the way you want it to feel, emotion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Listen, you gotta know. You gotta know what your audience wants. See, that's what I'm saying. When you film a little bit, you can't. You can look from your perspective a little bit, but you gotta think about what your audience wants. You gotta kind of. All right, uh, offenses. All right, let's say we're gonna do. It's, say the film is basketball. Yes. All right, let's. Jamel. That's your thing. So basketball. Would you go for slow music for basketball, or you give, if you would go or with you something would go that you would drill? Some, some up to tempo. You know, that's oh, a, like right. So you gotta know what your audience wants. You don't just like go in there and, 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 and you can go with your feeling a little bit, but it's, it's a small percentage. You gotta just know what your audience wants and what would get them in the the mood of liking your film. So I wonder if you could, <laughs> if you could uh, just tell us a little bit about. You know your style of filmmaking. So is, is the whole, uh, you know, I, uh, is the like why black and white, and you know. Well, uh, when we doing music videos, we want to make that transition into like film, like so. You know, uh, I would suggest people watch Vimeo. Vimeo, like they have the best artists. Them European artists, they like they can make you feel a whole story within two minutes, like two minutes, and it's like. I kind of copied their style. I found some. I found like, oh, I see how you do it, and mm -hmm. we stole a little bit of their style. Like, I mean, we got in the music video. We found somebody like that we like, and we mimic their style a little bit. Mm -hmm. Till we found our own identity, and that's like a little bit of mimicking, but we put out a little twist of our style. In. Mm -hmm. So, were there directors that uh, we should look at? People you guys like? Yes, um, a guy that I, I mentioned that I love. His name Protein. Protein TV. They're from London. Mm -hmm. And their work, they have the same kind of work that we had. Mm -hmm. Like when they do documentaries, they had um, Young Boy Fly, and the way they cinematographed it, it looked exactly the way we shot ours. So, you know, you basically 
like the sound of different types of film directors.